Hello and welcome to Thought for November the 27th. Our readings are 1 Chronicles chapter 10, Ezekiel chapter 23 and Luke chapter 20. And our thought is Ahola and Ahola Bar. Our chapter in Ezekiel 23 starts with the prophet saying, The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, there were two women, the daughters of one mother. They played the whore in Egypt. A graphic parable unfolds of the nation after it struggled to unlearn the decadence of life in Egypt. The two women, Ahola and Aholabah, represent the two nations which the Israelites split into after the time of David and Solomon and the glory of the temple. This parable, judging by the start of the chapter that follows, was given to Ezekiel less than two years before Jerusalem fell and the temple was destroyed and nearly all the remainder of the people were taken into captivity. What would the people make of it? Ezekiel obviously wrote it down and it was circulated. It is a blunt portrayal of the total spiritual unfaithfulness to the true God that had come to exist and was enjoyed. The meaning of the parable is plainly stated in verse 35. Thus saith the Lord God, Because you have forgotten me and cast me behind your back, you yourself must bear the consequences of your lewdness and whoring. Ezekiel is told to declare to them their abominations. Verse 36. We wonder how the people reacted. We see, of course, a close comparison with the attitudes today and how God's word is totally ignored. Some of God's words in this chapter are so applicable to today. The sound of a carefree multitude, we read in verse 42. They are told God's actions will make them an object of terror and a plunder. Thus will I put an end to lewdness, and you shall bear the penalty for your sinful idolatry, and you shall know that I am the Lord God. Verses 46 and 49. And our world today shall know that there is a God for it abounds with parallels to the godless behaviour in Ezekiel's time. We see how Jesus draws a parallel lesson in today's 20th chapter of Luke. Jesus is the stone that the builders rejected, but has become the cornerstone. Verse 17 Let us make Jesus the cornerstone of our life, and how much we will all need a foundation cornerstone when, as we will read next month in Daniel, the vision of a stone representing Jesus strikes the image of human kingdoms on the feet, destroying them all to create God's kingdom, and it shall stand forever. Daniel 2 verses 31 to 44 May we so live now, that by his grace we will be there. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Mm -hmm.